what up YouTube so uh, it's your boy Chris um, and y'all see by the title I'm gonna teach y'all how to turn a hundred into ten thousand dollars flipping sneakers um, and the way like the idea I have it is um, basically like a vlog style where I can show you like uh, the spreadsheet and like my progression and the process and everything I do to, to do this and um, hopefully y'all can follow and I help some people out and uh, yeah um quick real quick background story been into sneakers basically my whole life been like 15 years um i worked at champs didn't like it uh i've been flipping sneakers for a while nothing too crazy it's usually just like i'll flip this so I can grab my pair, or I'll flip that so I can grab another pair, or I'll flip this so I can go on vacation or something like that. Um, I, I travel a lot. Yo, y'all should check out my vlog channel because you know, that's basically what I do on that channel. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, and uh, I do this on the side. I have my, my you know, my day job, I have my night job, and then I do this on the shot. So on the side just to make, you know, uh, some extra money just to buy other kicks and do what whatever i never took the sneakers reselling series so i never like reinvested into the um the business i guess the like my business i guess um but uh i believe his name is george torres he's doing the, he's doing this is where i got the idea for um for the series uh and uh he's doing a really good job um in showing like his process and like everything he's doing or whatever but so check him out um he, he he clearly young kid knows what he's doing knows what he's talking about and um yeah so i plan on you know basically doing the same thing and showing my um you know steps and the stuff i do um but yeah um i actually already i actually gotta put it on the spreadsheet but i already sold bought and sold my first pair um which were these i already shipped it out and everything i should i forgot to film this before i shipped it out and everything but which were um these nike dunks nike georgetown i don't even remember i don't even know what it's called to be honest but i purchased these i kind of cheated i know i said a hundred dollars i kind of cheated i paid 117 I had 10% off on Nike. Plus, I used Rakuten, which I'll link down below. Yo, make sure y'all use that, because uh, that cash back adds up, you know? Um, which which is really cool. So, you get... Every, every website is different, so... Um, make sure you check that out. And, um... Yeah. Um, I'm going to set up the spreadsheet... Um, and what I use with the spreadsheet is I basically just, I basically just Googled it. I Googled, um, sneaker spreadsheet online or whatever, and I just saved it. Okay, so I'm actually about to ship these out. Um, like I said, I paid 117 for them. I sold it on GOAT for, um, uh, 150 like after the fees and stuff so i'm only i'm getting back 150 so that's a quick 33 dollars profit but uh yeah so i'm actually about to pack these and then um ship them out and yeah and we'll catch up on the next clip um real quick i think i forgot to mention i already like started this challenge i just didn't record it so um i didn't start recording uh or think to record and make a video on all, all of this i just wanted to see if i can personally do it um but then i was like nah we gotta do, we gotta make a youtube video so um i shouldn't mention i i did mention that i bought these or whatever for 117 i sold them already on goat for 150 well it was 100 and something but it was 150 after fees and stuff so now um i'm at 150 for the for the the challenge um and then i actually just 
bought the Dunks. Wait, what came out? The SBs that came out. Man, I'm I'm drawing a blank. Yo, it's nighttime right now. I'm, I'm, I was ready to go to bed, but then I was like, nah, I gotta start filming this. But <clears throat> I literally just bought these Dunks on um, sneakers yesterday. So those when those come in, um, I record it, keep our update, post, and show y'all everything. Um, but yeah. Um, but real quick, this is the the spreadsheet I use. Um, I literally just throw this from um, Google. Y'all can literally Google it, like sneakers seal uh, spreadsheet. Like you'll have the date, the item, uh, size, cost, selling price, and then what's dope is you literally can change. Um, you know. Like where you sold it, whether you sold it for cash, stadium goods, flight club, um, the stock X level, PayPal grills, whatever. Um, I think that's pretty dope. And they have over here the like fees. So you don't have to worry about entering the fees. I know these fees are a little off because it's, I think, um, it's 10%. But uh, for the most part, I mostly do cash. And or I'll make sure like the numbers are actually correct when I um, punch in the numbers and stuff and uh, But yeah um, And it says 2019 or whatever see this is an old old one. So um, But yeah, uh, let me know what y'all think. I just did it in January. It goes by months too so you can like track how you're doing every month and uh, You go to year to date and it has a breakdown of like the fees that you paid off, your profits, and like your total cost and everything. And then you have your charts here to show you um, basically your progress and everything. But uh, let me know what y'all think. Should I should we do like a month to month thing, or like should I do like oh how much we made in August, how much we made in September, uh, October, or whatever like that, or should we just should I just stick to like just do it on one month just uh like we can have like a fully updated type thing and we can just like I, I even put it right there so we'll just keep going down and put all the sneakers that we get and the profits and stuff i don't know yeah i i, I think y'all get what i'm trying to say let me know what y'all think should i like do month by month or just keep it on one one page and then we'll just go off that one page but uh let me know